We continue our election coverage tonight with a closer look at another riding worth watching in the campaign. Voters in Queens, Shelburne are guaranteed one thing on May 30th. They're getting a new MLA. Paul Withers has the story. Queens Shelburne is the only riding outside of Halifax where there is no incumbent reoffering. That makes this an open seat. All three major parties have a claim on the South Shore seat. It was created in a 2012 redistribution that merged traditionally Liberal Shelburne with traditionally Tory Queens and then elected a new Democrat MLA in 2013. But fisherman turned politician Sterling Beliveau is gone. John Davis, a fisheries advocate known for his opposition to offshore drilling, is stepping in. He was talking about the NDP's support for traditional industries when he discovered politics is a contact sport. Keep your eye on that sign to the right. We need a voice for the inshore fishery, which... Whoa. Good heavens. We were damn near so, killed by one ugly son of a bitch on a sign. <laughs> <laughs> After he shrugged it off, he finished his point. One of the reasons that I am running for the NDP is the fact that they have really, real important supports for the inshore fishery. Hi there, my name is Kim Maslin. Tory Kim Maslin spent nearly two decades as constituency assistant for Conservative MP Gerald Keddy. I was the one that was in the trenches, Paul, uh, helping people navigate that multi-level uh, government bureaucracy <laughs> uh, and, you know, making sure that people were able to access the government services that they needed. Like John Davis, she says the issue she hears most at the door is health care. And Shelburne and Queens both, you know, Shelburne's had uh, the ER doors closed many times because we were not be able, we were not able to fill it with a physician. Longtime local newspaper reporter Vernon Oikel is running for the Liberals. The newsman got a little vague when asked about health care. I think altogether we, we need to find a way to, to uh, sift through what's factual and uh, find solutions if there are problems. And what's the health care thing that they want fixed? Again, that's it. Depends on who you ask Is that the question. Doctors and well, there's so there's, of there's some of that. The you know the emergency room. It, it's a variety. Of, every individual has a different experience, good and bad. For the Liberals, a win here could help offset losses elsewhere in the province. For the Tories, it would signal a comeback. And for the NDP, well, this is their last rural outpost from the breakthrough of 2009. That's what the parties want. The voters here will decide what they get. Paul Withers, CBC News, Lockport. So what are the voters in the newly formed riding of Queen Shelburne saying? What's top of mind for them in this election campaign? Well, Colleen Jones hit the road to find out. People in Somerville are thinking more of the beach than an election. Jen Charlton brought her kids for some fun in the sun. So whoever can guarantee us a really great summer, that's You'd that's vote gonna, for? Yes, 100%. On a long weekend, affectionately called the May 2-4 weekend, Melanie Perron from Hell Bay Brewing says people's minds are not on the election. Just trying to get beer out for this weekend. So who will take this vacant seat? Well, the three candidates did their best to convince any undecided voters why it should be them on information morning. I had to remind myself there's an election. I think people are worn out with politicians. And your name? Meanwhile, in Hunts Point, Vivian and David Huskins run Fisherman's Cove RV and Campground. None of the parties are addressing their needs as small business owners. The first thing should be actually Medicare, the second thing, to help small businesses, not to hurt them. More or less, they're going to put us out of business if we don't get things changed. They say between regulations and taxes, they get stuck in red tape. Anybody been saying what you need to hear yet? And I have not heard anything really that's going to help us yet. Valerie Jollymore has run VJ's fruit and vegetable stand in Liverpool for 30 years now, 12 hour days, six days a week. She is not going to vote. When it comes to the election, what are you thinking? I'm thinking they're all the same. You put them all in the bag, they, they all talk and say they're going to do this and that. And when it comes time, it's all gone. Rural life offers different issues than urban, but health care and education are familiar themes for everyone in the province. But for the McGinnis family, there's another. Their child care is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Especially for people who have young children, infants, uh, between the ages of 12 and 18 months. There's nothing for, for child care in the area. So with just over a week remaining in the campaign, it's not politics and voting on people's minds. It's the beach and beer. Colleen Jones, CBC News. Somerville.